Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Howard Washington, and at this time, I'd like to welcome you to the dedication of the African American Cemetery Memorial here at Westington Plantation. We're gathered here in Cedar Hill, Tennessee, to pay our respects to the hundreds of our ancestors whose names are listed on the memorial, and also to honor those who were buried here on these grounds. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to celebrate the lives, the legacy, and the memory of our ancestors 
God, we thank you for this community of faith that has come together, and we pray, Lord, that you would be a part of this ceremony. We invite your presence here, and we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Walk with me, Lord, walk with me, walk with me, Lord, walk with me, while I'm on this tedious journey. families represented here whose ancestors came from Wessington from 1796 to 1865. When I call your ancestors' name, I would like for you to stand or raise your hand to give acknowledgement to them. Uh, many of you are descendants from several lines of the family, so many of you will be standing up multiple times. First, we'd like to acknowledge the first family that we could document that came to Wessington Plantation, which was Tom Washington, who was born in 1783, and his wife Jenny, born in 1785, and their four children. This includes the descendants, direct descendants of Emmanuel and Henny Washington, uh, Amos Washington, uh, Bob Washington, uh, Alan and Jenny Washington, Kurt Darden. I would like for you all to stand up, please. Thank you very much. 
Next, we have Temperance Washington. Temperance was born in 1795. She came here in 1815 with her son, uh, Sam Washington, and her daughter, Jane. D their direct descendants include descendants of Irvin Washington, Nelson Washington, and Betty Washington's mother. So I would like for you all to stand. This also includes the uh, direct descendants of Minnie Ellis. So would you, uh, you all stand, please. Thank you very much. Okay, we would like to acknowledge uh, the family of Irvin Washington and Mary Washington. And this includes the descendants of Doss Washington and Rachel Washington Terry. Okay, we would like to acknowledge the direct descendants of Ford Washington. Uh, Ford's daughter was Mary Washington McGee, and I spoke to one of those descendants today. All right. Next, we have uh, Marion Sims Green, and this includes the Pitt, Odie, and Green families. Thank you very much. John Lewis and Minerva Washington Lewis, and this includes direct descendants of Maggie Washington. All right. Dick and Anna Scott, this includes um, the Scott family, descendants of Daniel Scott, Caldonia Scott, Sarah Jane Scott. Now the descendants of Dick Terry and Aggie Washington Terry. This includes um, the Terrys, uh, several Washington families. These are descendants of uh, Lovey Mae Gardner, I'm y'all gardeners. <laughs> okay, love me, gardener. Direct descendants, okay. Okay, direct descendants of Louisa Lewis Washington. Any of those here? Direct descendants of Aaron Gardner and Betty Gardner. I'm sure there's a lot of y'all in here. <laughs> Okay, uh, Godfrey Washington and uh, Jenny Washington. This also includes the direct descendants of Emmanuel and Henny Washington, also descendants of Granville Washington. Thank you very much. I'd invite you to join along with me as we say together the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. These rough field stones once marked the graves of our ancestors. We hold them high to the heavens. We honor those whose names we know 
and those names that have been lost to us. We also honor those who are known to be buried here and to those who are believed to be buried here. pause now for a moment of prayer and reflection, a silent moment. Amen. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children, wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the water, wait, wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. See that host dressed in white. God's gonna trouble the water. The leader looks like an Israelite. God's gonna trouble the water. See that host all dressed in red. God's gonna trouble the water. It looks like the band that Moses led. God's gonna trouble the water. If you don't believe I've been reading, God's gonna trouble the water. Just follow me down. Jordan stream, God's gonna trouble the water. Wait, wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Let us bow our heads as we pray a prayer of remembrance at this time. Dear gracious Lord, our Father, we come in a time of reflection. We come in a time of appreciation for allowing us to see this day. We especially thank you for the souls of the men and the women that lay here buried before us and are remembered today. We ask today, Lord God, that you would help us to keep their memories fresh in our hearts and in our spirits, that we would never forget the sacrifice they made. We would never forget their duties and their labors. We would never forget, Lord God, who we came from and the blood that runs through our veins. Help us, Lord God, Father. You promised in your word that you will bring all things back to our remembrance. We ask today, Lord God, that you would help us to keep their memories fresh in our spirits, and let us pass their memories down to our children and our grandchildren, Father, that the legacy that was created here so many years ago 
will continue to burn in the hearts of men and women that come after us. We ask these blessings and we ask your grace forever to rest upon this land. In Jesus' name and for Christ's sake we pray. Amen. 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 Will you please join me in the repeating of our Lord's Prayer? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Precious Lord, take Let me share with you the inscription, African American Cemetery, 1798 to 1928. 
Wessington Plantation. And on the other side, walk with me, Lord, walk with me. While I'm on this tedious journey, I want Jesus to walk with me. Dedicated to the 446 African Americans enslaved on Wessington Plantation from its founding in 1796 until their emancipation in 1865. May this memorial honor their stories, those whose names are unknown. An estimated 200 men, women, and children are buried in this sacred place. On the sides of the monument are inscribed the names of the 446th enslaved men, women, and children. We are gathered here today to honor and bear witness to the lives of 446 African Americans who were enslaved at Wessington Plantation, of which some 200 men, women, and children are buried in this cemetery. We are gathered here to honor, bear witness to, and to dedicate this hallowed ground and our lives to stand against the inhumane system of slavery in any form. We therefore dedicate this monument to pay our respects to those who lived and died here. May this monument be a constant reminder of the precious lives of those whose labor was instrumental in making Wessington Plantation the largest tobacco plantation in America. We therefore dedicate this monument in the presence of God and these witnesses to preserve the legacy of our ancestors and to recognize the great cloud of witnesses whose lives, love, and labor, whose stories, sacrifice, strength, and suffering will never be forgotten. To God be the glory for the rich history and memory that lives on through our families today. Lest we forget, this monument is not made from stone, but from the hearts of a community of faith that has come together to dedicate it. We weep for the suffering of those here named. So today is a new day. We therefore dedicate this monument to bear witness to what was, and to what must never be again. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. 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 Please join me as we sing the first and second verse of Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me.
stand for the final closing prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for this moment in time. We thank you for the opportunity, Lord God, to dedicate this memorial. Most of all, God, we thank you for the gift of the lives, the legacy, and the love that has been shared between family and family. God, we thank you for your presence here. And we pray, Lord, as we depart from this hollow ground, we pray your peace, your presence, and your protective power to be with us. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide now, henceforth, and forever. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. It's a blessing for so many families to have gotten together, and I uh, guess that this is probably the first time that all descendants from the slave owners and the, and the slaves have gotten together since emancipation. So that's a blessing from God that we all came together in unity. Oh, glad.